Okay, real quick. Um, <clears throat> for me, I've got it kind of figured out. I don't know if anybody else does. So if you haven't got it figured out, if you're still uh, confused on this, let me break it down. Okay? You have these necessary evils. You have Yog sothoth Cthulhu, shub Niggurath, okay? Uh, Sothagoa. Um, they are like when God created everything, God created everything, okay? Um, even the evil. And you say, why did God create evil? Well, he had to create everything. So he created Azathoth. He didn't really create them. They were, they're a result of his creation. Okay, that's the difference between him and Lucifer. God had a clear-cut plan for Lucifer, um, had a vision for Lucifer of what he was going to do. As a thought, no idea. It just kind of happened. Okay, it was a result of the initial... Um, yeah, so then I believe... And actually, Sothago, I believe he's the offspring of one of these gods that was just created... And they're very powerful, okay? As a result of them being so old and, um, you know, uh, just, they just are. They're dumb, and this is why the fallen can run them, or so they think. They're dumb because, like I said, there was no plan behind them, really, but they're strong, they're ancient, um... And they're huge. Okay, they're these huge forces. For all we know, the black hole is Azathoth. When they find a black hole in space or whatever. But, um, so, yes. So they, but I'm saying they're necessary evils. They're the, you know, it's the lesser of two evils. Y'all ever heard that? Y'all ever heard these terms? They could apply to all this here. Um... And so you have to realize they both work differently. They're very different. Um, but, you know, of course they're the same. They both serve evil. And this is why, you know, in the end, these original old gods or whatever, they're they're the ones who are really in charge. I'm saying it's like, it's like letting your kids, you know, kids got a lot of imagination, a lot of energy, and it's like letting your kids, you know, take over for their birthday. They get to say what we're going to do, and they're, you know, it's their day. Um, and they had their chance, but now it's over. Now there's no more Hollywood playground for these bitches. And now it's just back to this dark god, you know, domination of the world, taking the world back to ancient times, which is when these things ruled, because in fact they are ancient. Um, yes. But I'll give you a little more. So, supposedly Lucifer and Michael and Samael and Uriel and Gabriel were like the first angels and were basically made to destroy um this these evil gods that god inadvertently created okay um and so i'm saying lucifer and samael already are designed to just destroy these bitches so they can do that with lucifer leading the charge uh the fallen are able to run these bitches and dare I say, represent each and every, maybe each and every head of the beast um, that, you know, is associated, the seven-headed beast that's associated with the beast with two horns, like a lamb, um, maybe each one of those heads represents one of the heads of the dragon, okay? Um, <clears throat> so they've taken over kind of wrath, slothfulness, uh, pride, which maybe the other seven, you know what I'm saying, dragon heads already been represented, been doing their thing, and all that these bitches have to do 
is just 